Hey everyone, Christian here, and I had realized I had never done a video on the blue version of Shamrops Humulus, um, or it should be pronounced Camerops Humulus variation Seraphera, which basically uh, this Seraphera refers to the waxy um, silver coating on the plant, um, on the fronds, I should say. So this is basically the blue silver version of uh, Shamrops Humulus, which can be seen over there. So that's a green one and this is a silver one so what's the difference between the two besides the color well they come from different areas it shows origin mediterranean region so the origin of that plant's going to be southern france and italy uh, into parts of spain and the northern coast of africa parts of it um, this grows more up into the mountains the atlas mountains in morocco and i believe into algeria so this actually grows in a colder area for the most part. Um, it is a uh, definitely a more arid region. And because it's arid and cold, it's going to be a, a smaller plant. So this is actually a relatively large uh, specimen of this plant with it having about a foot and a half of trunk with uh, three or four clumps. Actually, it's more like five or six at least. Where this one here is also an old plant, relatively speaking, with about two or three feet of uh, trunk, clear trunk. With an offset they, they, sometimes they'll have no offsets sometimes they'll have eight offsets but for florida that's actually a pretty decent size uh palm anyway back to the seraphera which it does not mention here for some reason um but uh it is it's quite a beautiful plant considering how cold hardy it is how salt tolerant it is um you know enjoys full sun it's a great plant for uh, desert regions, whether you live in uh, maybe a desert region of Australia, live in uh, the southwest U.S. It does grow we pretty well in um, the southeast U.S. It just sometimes I can, I've seen a few stems rot in extreme uh, rainy weather, but it, it won't. It, I wouldn't say it's a, a risky situation. It might have an offset that just doesn't do that well. It might get kind of blackish or, you know, have a little bit of uh, mold on it, but otherwise does pretty well here it's actually relatively uh arid for florida here on the island in venice it gets about 40 inches of rain a year where most of inland florida gets about 55 so it does have a little bit more fiber on the, the top of the crown there um and it tends to have darker arming and it tends to be a little bit more upright like uh more arching than the uh green counterpart so those are some of the aspects that kind of differentiate it from the uh, regular green form of, of shamrops. So I'm sure many of you have seen this plant. It's quite quite cold hardy. I would say it's at least at least a B, if not eight A uh, zone. So I mean, you know, as far as cold hardiness, I'm just I'm trying to think off the top of my head because I don't ever see those temperatures. So I'm just kind of thinking as I'm you know, talking here. But I would say it's an eight A plant. I would definitely give it a try if I wanted to grow. If I lived in a zone eight climate, like a low on the low end, I would definitely, this would be one of the first palms that I would try and grow there. Um, these do, these are uh, mono, I'm sorry, dioecious. So they require a male and a female to uh, produce seed, I believe. Because I've never had to produce seed. I'm pretty sure that these flowers are male and female. I know that sounds bad that I'm, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, <clears throat> I believe that they, they need both uh, sexes to, where most palms have both uh, male and female flowers on the stem. So um, if you want to produce seed, you might need to make a little colony of these. So, um, but yeah, they're, it's quite a pretty plant. It also makes a good, or, it's a good ornamental. If you don't want to make a big specimen in front of your house or wherever you live, or you want to keep it in a pot, it's, it's a great potted plant as well. If you get it, give it some well-draining soil, um, if you're going to germinate these, I would give, definitely give it well-draining soil. Um, it probably doesn't need a ton of heat. Probably, you know, uh, 30 Celsius at the most is probably what's required. I mean, I, you can give it more. Um, but just make sure that the soil is well-draining. These will rot off early if they are, are given too much water, um, given the nature of where they're from. And don't, don't, you don't ever want to really water these right in the crown. So... Um, Make sure you always water them at the base. You can spray some water at times, but whatever rain comes down can can uh, hit the leaves. They're very waxy. They're, they're not going to take in any water. You can actually see that this will come ill if you put your fingernail to it. It'll actually come off. So, 
anyway, the seeds are uh, kind of the, about uh, half an inch wide. I'm sorry, half an inch long, quarter inch wide, and uh, it it's, looks like many other palm seeds. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I can't remember the color of the seed either because I haven't grown this in such a long time. But um, anyway, uh, you'll find this. You can you'll find these at home at some of the big box stores. I don't know about abroad. They probably sell it in many, in other stores as well. But anyway, uh, that'll be. Oh, sorry. I thought a dog was chasing me, <laughs> or coming after me, I should say. But anyway, uh, back to the palm. <clears throat> so you can you can find these at a lot of nursery outlets, even in the southeast U.S. I'm sure they're in the southwest U.S. And also abroad, I know friends in the United Kingdom that do sell these plants. Maybe not this size, but, um, you know, of a decent size. So they're around. They shouldn't be too pricey. They're probably a little bit more expensive than the green version because they take a little bit longer to grow. So that would be the, the main reason. But, uh, yeah, they're also fun to grow. They're not too hard uh, to grow from seed or from a small plant and just watch it uh, turn into, you know, a fully fan leaf uh, palm. So... Um, this one has quite some good color considering it's in Florida. So anyway, I'll leave that here. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave it down below uh, about shamrocks and the difference and where they come from. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and you'll see many more uh, palm related videos like this. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see everyone next time.